If you want cheap PC games, Xbox Live codes, and a whole bunch more, then check out G2A. A link is in the description below. Yo guys, what's up? It's x -rays. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare video. So today, uh, I actually wanted to react to what the noob lobbies are like in Modern Warfare. So, and this, I'm making this video because I saw actually a video by Exclusive Ace recently. Uh, he's a friend of mine and he does amazing work when it comes to statistics on weapons and testing stuff out in Modern Warfare. And he did a video recently talking about, you know, is there skill-based matchmaking in Modern Warfare Warzone specifically? He went in, he did some tests, and he found out that there is actually pretty significant skill-based matchmaking in Modern Warfare and uh, within a war zone specifically is what his video was about. So he tested all of it in the solo mode. He found out that if you have a really good KD, like above a 2.1 or 2.4 KD, you're gonna be facing off against other really good players who are on average a 2 KD. If you're someone who's more average, like a, for instance, 1.1 KD, you'll face off against other people who are about also 1 KD, a little bit lower than that. And if you are bottom of the barrel, like my account currently is right now, then you face off against other people who are about the same level or lower. So I already kind of was doing some testing as well. And you know, a lot of the people I was seeing in the lobbies were not that great. So let's go ahead and jump into it uh, i kind of from what i saw early was i would drop down to try to get killed by someone with a pistol most of them had pretty terrible aim and were honestly not that great but i would let myself obviously get killed because i'm trying to test this whole skill-based matchmaking thing because i like testing stuff out for myself as well and i figured this would be a fun video for you guys to see what these lobbies are like so let's go ahead and jump into it if you guys enjoy the video do me a huge favor drop a like on the video Super appreciated, incredibly helpful. If you are new to the channel, obviously make sure you're subscribed, hit that little notification bell, set it to all notifications so you don't miss a single upload. And I do wanna mention also Control Freak, if you guys haven't checked them out just yet, uh, you can check them out. They are little like control stick adapters that you add. So if your control sticks are worn out or if you you know just want a little bit of extra height, these are awesome. If you use code OGXRays, you get 10% off the order. But anyways, let's jump into the gameplay and check out what some of these lobbies are like. like you know what, let's go Superstore. We're gonna go Superstore and let's see what the level of competition is. Hopefully it'll be a pretty fun little laugher. Oh, there's a guy already here. I guess maybe we'll drop down. Get this armor plate going. We'll get one more there. All right, cool. It'd be kind of nice if we had an actual weapon and not just a pistol. You know, it'd be great if there was more than just ammo. We got an absolutely terrible drop. Maybe we can get something here. Yeah, that works. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. I don't know if there's anyone still over here. I feel like maybe we got everyone that we were gonna get. So we're gonna go inside now. I mean, that guy, that guy was decent. Yeah, at least he went to cover. He wasn't fumbling around too much. I want to go inside here, but I feel like it's going to be such a dumb move. Ooh, I like that. Push distance. I don't hear anything. Okay. There's a whole bunch of weapons or explosives everywhere, too. Here comes someone. Is this guy right here? <laughs> oh, yo, this dude killed himself. Jesus Christ. You see what happens? This dude was trying to RPG me. That dude literally killed himself with an RPG. Oh! <laughs> he got me. God damn it. Ah! These lobbies are not as easy as, as I thought they were going to be. Like, maybe that guy with the RPG, yeah, pretty, pretty terrible. Yep, these dudes are actually not bad. Yep. 
Where'd this guy come from? Look at this guy right here. Haha, <laughs> let's go! What's he doing there? Ooh, I have enough for a loadout, but- Oh! <laughs> let's go. Sit that ass down, bro. You shouldn't have rushed me. Yo, better heal up. Oh! What? Where'd this guy come from? Bro, I don't know what is up with these lobbies right now. Some people suck. Some people do suck, but like, like that dude right there was like being super sneaky. So I don't know if that was just him being a camper. That might have been him just being a camper, honestly. Let's go. I want to see where I died. I want to see if I can pick up my stuff again. There's a vehicle right in front of me, though. Oh, and there's a guy right here. Let's go. Let's go. Pick up all your stuff. Ah, oh, yo, what? I should have known there was going to be someone there. I gotta say, these lobbies are actually not as bad as I thought they were going to be. I feel like there's like a lot of people who are maybe even like reverse boosting to get into these lobbies. Like, there's a lot of dudes who suck, but then there's a lot of dudes who are actually like good players. So that's, that's kind of what's going on. <laughs> Guys, that is reverse boosting in... Warzone. I think we're gonna try one more match and let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. All right, boys, final game of noob friendly lobbies and solo BR. So, exclusive ace, one of the things he mentioned was that he wasn't completely sure what the standard was for like how they separate people. So, like, he doesn't know if like it's based on recent performance or like the history of someone's performance. So, I mean, I don't know. It could be that if you play really bad for five games, it'll throw you in like some newbie lobbies or if you play really bad in 10 games or maybe it just looks at what your overall stats are. So, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what the actual criteria is. What? Did this dude kill himself and me? This is what the lobbies are like, boys. That's the second guy who's tried to kill himself and the other person with an art. Or I don't know. Maybe he thought he wasn't going to die. I, I honestly don't know. Well, let's see if we are even able to. Let's go. All right, we got out of the gulag. As bad as we are, we got out of the gulag. Oh, okay then. This dude's just circling around. Man, you gotta play the game. Everyone's camping, man. So you gotta... Well, I have discovered why these lobbies feel a little harder. And it's just that typically people in BR are just happy. I've kind of fallen victim to that same mentality of like, Yo, dude, like, we're all freaking camping, dude. Yep. <laughs> this dude's in there. Dude, these dudes are just like... I shouldn't have done that. Dude, dudes are just camping left and right. None of these dudes have armor plates either. Holy crap. I don't want to get the hell out of here. <laughs> this place is too, too much. There's a loadout. I'm probably going to get killed if I try to go there, though. 
Boys, this is bad. <laughs> We've got 11,000. There's a buy station. Oh! Dudes are just camping out the buy stations. What? This dude literally whooped my ass. I, I couldn't find him. <laughs> but boys, um, I feel like if you do this thing where you like, you like literally get yourself killed over and over, essentially reverse boost, you will find yourself in lobbies where the players aren't exactly the highest level of player. But Battle Royale solos is still literally the sweatiest game. Like it's weird. It's like the sweatiest, like campiest games ever. And so because of that reason, it just makes it so it's really, it's completely different from trios. Trios, everyone's rushing around. Uh, there's less camping. In solo, it's literally everyone by themselves. So everyone's just camping and chilling. So kind of tough. Uh, it is what it is. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, drop a like on the video. It's super appreciated and incredibly helpful. And if you are new to the channel, if you want to see even more videos like these, I'm going to have a lot more Call of Duty Warzone content coming. So make sure you guys are subscribed and have notifications on so we don't miss a single upload. If you guys want to support the channel directly, you guys can do so by checking out my channel memberships. And last but not least, if you guys want to talk about anything, Twitter is literally the best place to do so. Go ahead and give me a follow over there at OGX Rays. Link in the description below. And also, make sure to check out control freak these guys are awesome it's great for if your control sticks are wearing out and you want a little bit extra grip those are awesome check them out if you guys want to link in the description below if you use code ogxers you get 10 percent off i'll see you guys in the next upload take care guys i'm out peace <laughs>